leader of Carbon Nation, Eligio, a.k.a. Nature Boy, was sentenced today. I'm going to play the video of the sentencing, and I'll be back to give you all the details. So, rotate. Count one, how does the jury find? Count one is rape. Guilty. And count two, false imprisonment. Guilty. Count three, prohibition on nude or sexually explicit electronic transmissions. Guilty. So that's the verdict as it came in. Now, Nature Boy actually left a statement. As you can see in that video, he wasn't in the courtroom because there was some sickness going around. So he was actually in another part of the court area on Zoom. And here's what Nature Boy said right after the sentence came through. And then we got a lot more on the other end, so stick around. Is there anything else? My heart, light. Light as a feather. I promise you I love you and I'm still here. I, I miss one with I see what y'all doing, and I want you to know, I forgive you. And I see y'all in Now, I know you're wondering, how much time did he actually get being convicted of those three charges? Well, he was actually sentenced to life. To life without the possibility of parole. Now, there's been rumors that he actually was offered a 30-year plea deal. He turned that down. Now, I'm going to get to a little bit more of the backstory, just in case you don't know who this individual is, but the women, the women that, I think it's like three of them now that are actually standing by his side, put out a video on IG today, and they gave their reaction to the verdict, and they're saying that they're standing strong on appeal. Now, I left them a message on their Instagrams um, to see if they had any message that they wanted to convey to you guys, but I did get the video and watch some of the video on Instagram, so I'm going to play just a little bit of that. Then I'm going to give you a little bit more of the backstory about how all of this actually even came into fruition. Roll tape. So we know that everybody, we know everybody's seen what happened yesterday and the verdict that came up. And that's what, well, we came to that question. Who was in charge of Chief being sentenced? Because we all know the devil is a lie. Exactly. We all know that Satan is a deceiver. Exactly. And with nothing in that court, no, no kind of truth. There was no truth. Was stated in that courtroom. Anytime the truth tried to come out, objection, no, irrelevance. We can play now one video when y'all seen his innocence was proven no. in every video that we made and put together. It was it's all, all over, over our page. page. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Instagram. Go to Nature Boy TV. Uh, dot com. Exactly. You see it on the website. Exactly. And it's like even when I was up there, we trying to get videos played for our defense. You got to think about it. This is bigger than Nature Boy. Mm -hmm. Y'all just literally just watched how corrupt this, this system, system is. is. What y'all seen yesterday was a lynching. A that modern was a lynch mob. It, it, modern. Day. That was a lynching right in front of the world. If you're not familiar with Carbon Nation, I, I watched some of their videos over the years. I wasn't one of those people that watched every day, but I come across stuff. I've seen them on different channels and stuff. And at the end of the day, I thought it was kind you know, I thought he was just a weirdo. You know, um, and I seen that he always had a lot of women with him. You know, um, some dudes that will follow him. And I'm not going to use the C word, the cult word, because everybody's saying that. I'm just going to give you my observation of what... I seen I watched this dude um in all types of countries, Mexico, Hawaii. I forget the country he was in where he had the four wheelers and all that. He was living large, he was doing his thing, right? Um now some of the stuff was just downright wild. Some of the stuff that he was doing. Some of the stuff that he said was definitely hundred percent wild. And um, you know, as far as the conviction, I mean that kinda is what it is. Right now, I don't know what type of lawyer that he had because his wives or his girlfriends, whatever you want to call them, are saying it was a particular video of the uh, victim in a case that was not played. Well, that's on his lawyer. His lawyer has to be the one that, that you know, makes sure everything gets in. But um, again, I've been watching this and I've been kind of just it was entertainment source for some people. I know a lot of people on this channel, especially the women, probably know who dude is and watch dude. And a lot of people were waiting for him to fall, but a lot of people were thoroughly entertained, you know, by, you know, the fact that this dude had 20 or 30 people that came from all over the world to give him their money, their credit cards, and, you know, and worship this dude 
<laughs> you know what I mean? People bowing down to all this wild shit. So, again, the entertainment source. But this is the worst way to go out, right? Now, I wasn't there. I don't know. I mean, he was convicted of the R word. And that's just low down dirty. But I will tell you this. I am surprised at the verdict. Not the verdict. I'm surprised at the sentencing. Now, the judge, she went on to say, look, the reason why she, you know, went with the state's recommendation, which was life without parole, is because he didn't show any remorse. And he kind of took this as a joke. That's what the judge said out of her own mouth, right? And, and your lawyer has to let you know, like, these, these are the things, like, prerequisites. You don't show no emotion in court, you know, and you show remorse. Now, to my knowledge, they were offering him 30 years, right? 30 years. And that's a lot of time. But if you're looking at the possibility of life without parole, maybe that's something you take. I mean, I hope to God that I'm never in that situation. I hope to God that none of y'all is in that situation. But I was I was never expecting him to be sentenced. I thought, honestly, I was thinking, all right, maybe 10, 15, even under 10. But life without parole, without the possibility of parole, wow. It goes to show you that this is someone that definitely they had a vendetta against. And I'm not saying he's innocent or guilty. He was proven guilty. In the court of law, right? So that is what it is. I'm not going to argue that. Now, was there some manipulation? Probably. A little bit of narcissism? Probably. You know what I mean? I think I, I definitely can see, you know, to that. But I'm nobody's judge, jury, or executioner. But some advice that I would give to the, the beautiful young ladies, I mean, all of them, you know, is at this point, I understand you want to stick by this dude, um... But at some point, you got to move on. I mean, he's going to be in jail, and, uh, barring a, a, a new a trial, appeal, which is, is going to take forever. You got to really think about moving on, right? Um, or you're going to be doing this bit with this dude, right? Young ladies, you know, eventually they're going to find a, a husband. They're going to find a boyfriend something. And, you know, they're going to move on eventually. That That's just what it is. You know, I'm sure, you know, over the next couple of months, and maybe even years, you'll have a couple or one that's going to ride, be a ride or die and, you know, put money in his books and go visit him and all of that and help him try to get a lawyer. But, you know, um, his fate sealed. Go have a life. Go have some children. You know, um, learn from the situation. That will be my advice to the young ladies. I know it's a hard thing. I know they attach. I know they love him. You know what I mean? Um, and, again, I'm not... I don't know the nature of the relationship. All I saw is what they put on the internet, right? So, crazy, crazy. I, I didn't think it would end like this because over the years watching, it kind of seemed like, you know, he was doing some nutty stuff, but he never really crossed that line, right? He never really crossed the line. You know, even though he said some wild stuff, did a couple wild things, it was like, all right, is it enough to really get dude arrested like that? So when this came out, I was like, all right, damn, like, boom, boom, boom. I ain't know. I would never have guessed that he would get life without parole. Life without the possibility of parole, I would have never guessed it, right? So with that being said, I'm going to digress. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below the video. Um, Yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you follow him, if you know who he is, I try my best to kind of give you a little you know, backstory, there's articles all over the place talking about this. If you're in the Georgia area or, you know, this is now national news. But if you're in that area, you probably heard of them. Um, I'm sure a lot of people in the comment section heard of them. But let me know what you think in the comment section about the old guy. Hey, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you share the video. I appreciate y'all listening and peace.